Salisbury City Football Club is about to announce the passing of Tony Sillick, a former Salisbury City player who scored an amazing 72 goals in the 1948-49 season. We welcome Tony's two sons, Peter and Dave, to the, this afternoon games. Also, we would like to remember former England international Preston North End player Tom Finney, who also died a couple of past, like away a couple of weeks ago. And we would like you to join us in one minute applause to remember both Tony and Tom Finney. Thank you very much.
invite Griffiths. Say so. It's a point, isn't it? I, I, I've said before. I, I expect us to win um, at home, and I expect us to win away. To be honest, um, so no, I wouldn't say so. It's a good point, yeah. but it could have been three, couldn't it? So we had, we definitely had the chances. And fitness-wise, you're looking really good. You know, all the injuries are over, and it's you know, up as normal as now. Yeah, I feel great. I feel great. Um, I've been doing a lot of work. My groin. Uh, I've been having having a repetitive injury on my groin, but I've been working really hard. And I feel fit and strong, and we've got 11 games left. So hopefully, Touchwood, um, I'll be I'll be involved in all of those, and I can give my all for all of those. And uh, the sports, you know, want to know what it's like playing alongside your brother. It must be great having your brother in the team. And oh yeah, it's awesome, him. isn't it? It's awesome, and I, and I think we've got a good connection. He's a, he's such a good footballer. He should he should, in all honesty, he shouldn't be playing. He should be playing higher. So it's just a pleasure to play with him, to be honest. But we'll say that you know that, that applies to you too, mate. We think you're great. The sports media, Cheers, and even the um, the Luton fans today have said that they thought the songs were really battled well for that point, and they, they, they're not begrudging us that point at all. Oh, definitely. Like, uh, like I said um, just earlier, like uh, my brother was talking to one of the lads at Luton, and he said that no one's matched Luton like that, and that's that's a massive positive for us. That is a massive. Po we matched them. We, we did, in fact, we didn't just match them. We had chances, and we did just as <laughs> we played just as well as them. So it's, yeah, it's good. We didn't just hold on. So that's great, yeah, it's great positive. Really, uh, great result. And also, uh, man of the match, I must give you uh, great satisfaction yeah, because it could have been anyone today. Yeah, got it. that's very true. The whole the whole team performance was cracking, and yeah, it's not it's not just about my performance and not just about the MOM. It's about everyone, isn't it? And like you say, there was eleven players on on the pitch, and to be fair, you, you could have picked out of the hat, couldn't you? So well, you've got it, mate. So just congratulations Cheers. and well done, Cheers, right, thanks for that. that. Uh, great result for you guys today. Parky, do you want to say a few words about your performance today? Uh, oh, well, about myself, really. I just got to put a left back to do a job today, so I felt like I'd done it. I kept the lad quiet. So. Uh, you want to expand that with the, with the whole team and that, that result? Yeah, yeah, well, um, yeah, it's top of the league, isn't it, coming here, so we've got to be happy with a point. We could have nicked it, we might more than matched them, so. Yeah, and um, Stewie Sinclair getting man of the match. Would you agree with that, or do you think yeah, like everything? Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Well, he works his, uh, works his nuts off today, doesn't he? Like he does every week, you know. And it goes without saying, like he should get it most weeks to be fair, for his work rate. Okay, that's just a quick word with uh, Jamie Clark, one of the soldiers of players. Well done. Thanks, Mikey. Bye bye. Uh, hi, Mikey. That's um, another good result because they're no point. Is that? But does that mean more than a point to you because it's against top team? Well, I just think um, I'm very pleased with the clean sheet. I'm very pleased with the performance of the lads 
individually and, and collectively as a team. I thought they put in a massive amount of work rate against a team that's been scoring freely and uh, to hold them to a clean sheet is a, is a big achievement and you know on another day we, we take one of the chances that we created and, and we win the game but as I say against uh, Luton who are absolutely flying yeah. it, it's, it's a very good point. Their um, supporters have been phoning into the local radio station and, and complimenting the, the team on their performance saying that they really deserve everything they got which is a great compliment to yourself as Luton has gone out and been smashing teams 7 0 or 5 0 away. So the, the whole day has to be a great great day for you guys. You're going to look back and you know, think about this match for a little while. Yeah, no, definitely. I think I think the crowd was, was good as well. Um, credit to the Luton fans that made the journey down. I think there was about 1,500 of them. And uh, of course, credit to our fans who, who turned up to the Rain Mac in, in numbers and, and matched the Luton fans with their voices, which is great and made for a great atmosphere. And, um, you know, I'm. I'm really pleased that we've managed to get a decent gate, um, you know, getting up to what we got in the playoff final, which was, you know, a fantastic day obviously last season and we hope that we can get those sorts of crowds coming through the gate regularly between now and the end of the season because, you know, we've got Challenge 2000 uh, for the Kidderminster game and we, we hope that we're going to reach that 2000 mark again uh, during that game, which will be a big plus. We're going out into the schools, giving out plenty of free tickets and, you know, just really raising the profile of the club within the local area and, you know, I think anyone that came from Salisbury today would have been very proud of, of the team and, and they would hopefully come back and, and watch between now and the end of the season. That, that would be great. Um, I had a quick word with John Silver, the manager, and he complimented the team itself on their home record. The home record is, is fantastic at the moment. It's just those little lapses on the away matches that we need to, you know, as a team, we need to work on. Um, and, and that's what we, we've got to carry that result. That's a great result today, carry that forward to Tuesday night. Yeah, yeah that's the key now. You know, we've, we've banked that point and uh, we look to take the momentum and the clean sheet into Tuesday. And if we can get another clean sheet on Tuesday, I, I always feel, I know we haven't scored today, but I always feel that we've got goals in us throughout the team. And if we can keep another clean sheet on Tuesday, then you know we'll certainly come away with a positive result and possibly a win, which will just kickstart you know that last 11 games into uh, hopefully pushing towards those playoff places. 11 to go. Um, Stuart Sinclair got man of the match today. Anyone could have had it. We've had a quick word with Stuart, and he, he's, he's said the same. Anyone can get it, but you know, personally, I think just, he just played so well today. He was all over the place. Everyone's competing. Um, but what's your thoughts on Stuart getting the actual? Match. Yeah, I think Stewie's spot on. I think uh, anyone could have picked up the, uh, the champagne today for man of the match. Uh, I'm delighted for Stewie. He epitomises what this football club's about and what this team's about in terms of his work rate and his desire. And uh, you won't meet a, a better professional than Stewie. You know, the, the way he works in training, the way he looks after himself, his lifestyle, everything about him. He, you know, he's a model pro and he's a role model for, for everyone in the squad. And, you know, today he got his rewards, um, picking out the champagne, which I know he won't drink, it was bad for him. Um, but, you know, I'm delighted for him. And, and you know, and it, indeed every single one of the players, I could pick everyone out and say, you know, they played their part today. I asked them to uh, to see how they match up against the best team in the league and the yeah. team that I believe is, is going to go on and win the league comfortably. Yeah. And I said, here's your opportunity to see whether you as an individual and us as a team can, can match the best team in the league. And that's what we did today, so that's very pleasing. We most certainly did. Thank you very much for that, Mikey. Thanks, Keno. Congratulations. Well done. Cheers.